All right, my knife people, what do we got today? We have something that was sent to me by Mr. Boston Blade Reviews. Uh, this right here, he knows I've never handled a cold steel before. Um, so he wanted to send one my way. We're at this point where, to keep our overhead down a little bit, you know, we're sending pieces back and forth to each other that we don't have. That way we can review knives without really having a lot, a ton of overhead with purchasing them and stuff. So if you look, this is a cold steel air light. Aus 10A, made in Taiwan. Um, guys, just a slick operating knife here. I mean, opens and closes very easy with one hand. Um, if you look at that, I mean, she just comes right open. Now, just keep your finger up there. Just give her a little jiggle, and you can close it right there with that one hand. Um, and one thing I want to look at, too, is just the girth of the lock on this. If we look at this, it's a very slender knife. It's got the, uh, I think it's G10, but we look at how thick that lock is, say compared to a Delica 4. I mean, it's almost double. So what he did was he was sending me some videos on these and the locks on these cold steels, and they were using like a pallet jack and just free weights like in a gym and it was holding up to 700 pounds. And they were doing this one like I think it was versus, versus some other brand knives. But this the, these cold steels, these locks on these, I mean it's phenomenal. If we look at this, we got this dual pin construction here on the lock. And then you know it got, probably got some, I would say those are probably T6s. And then you got your, uh, probably a T10 there for your pivot. But if we open this up and look at this thumb stud, i just seen this today. This is the third time I've tried to make this video because every time I try to make it, I just find something different on the knife that really stands out. If we look at the thumb stud, you can take that off there and reverse it for left-handed opening. Now, as far as, let's say, the, the pocket clip, you know, you can't really take that off and put it on the other side, but it looks like you could buy one and actually four lefties and put it on there. Um, we'll check out the length of this thing here real quick. We'll put her on the 8. She goes to well, 12 and 3 quarters, so she's 4 and 3 quarters inches long, just closed. Let's check the overall length. We'll put it on 6. She's going to go to 14 and a quarter, so she's 8 and a quarter inches long. That's fixed blade action right there. That's the length of a fine fixed blade knife. Uh, let's do the cutting length now. We'll put her on the 10. We'll do cutting length only. Okay, you know, that's how I like to roll. Starts on the 10, goes to 13 and 3 eighths. So, 3 and 3 eighths inches for the actual cutting length on this. Um, I also want to look at the pocket clip depth. Now, I learned this trick off of watching Big Red's videos, so I'm going to give him credit for doing this on his videos. Well, if we look, I like a deep pocket carry, and that does ride fairly deep. That rides very deep for just a standard pocket clip that you're getting from a factory. Um, now, as far as the lockup on this thing, it's a very solid. There's absolutely zero blade play in this knife whatsoever. And if we look, this thing doesn't have liners. This is all devised off this pivot and this very girthy lockback system. Now, when he sent this to me, he asked me, you know, are you going to like a knife this thin? And I'm like, well, I mean, I carry straight edge spider codes on me all the time, like the Crew Carta Pair 2, which is a pretty straight sided knife in the Pair 3. And this is very similar to that. I, I noticed when I, I took this out today, and I've been using it and carrying it all day, I noticed like when I'm sitting in the car or I'm bending over or getting up, you really don't even notice that this knife is in your pocket. That slim design, I mean, it really, really, it makes it where you just can't even feel it. And that's, it's crazy that this knife, with no liners, has zero blade play whatsoever, and has one of the strongest locking systems in the industry. That's insane to me. Um, I think you can get these off of, uh, I, th I looked them up on Amazon. I believe they were uh, $59 on Amazon. Now, you can probably get them other places. I just really don't know. 
but because I, I really didn't look at them that much because I've just been on the road a lot today. Had to take the dog to the vet over in Indiana. Just different stuff. Um, now, if we look at the, the overall grind of this knife, I mean, it has like a saber style grind to it. We got some jimping on the top. Very, not not too aggressive. I mean, it does look aggressive, but it's really not. It's really comfortable. You know, if you're holding it here, you can choke up, of course. Got a classic drop point style design. Very sharp tip on this. Very hypodermic tip, like Spyderco hypodermic. So we got the saber grind. Um, now, if we look at the actual grind of the edge, it is very nice, very even. Look at it on the reverse side as well, on the pile side. Again, very even. I don't know how well it's coming out on camera, but it's a fairly even grind all the way up through there. And the one thing that sets this knife apart that I just noticed, I was driving and I was looking at this and I'm like, I cannot believe I didn't mention that in the last video I did because I, I've shot this video three times. And like I said, every time I just find something different. The sharpening choil. Look at that sharpening choil. You know, why is Spyderco, after all these years, still not putting sharpening tools on their blades? I don't know. Maybe there's a reason, and I haven't read about it or seen the information on it, but to me, that's something I like. I mean, that's just a little added extra that takes, I don't know how long that takes at the factory to do. It couldn't take too awful long, I wouldn't guess, but, you know, what do I know? I don't grind knives for a living, but, uh... I use them an awful lot and talk about them an awful lot, but <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get a weight of this bad puppy here, see what she weighs. So we're going to put her on there. Got 89 grams, 3.15 ounces. That is not bad for a knife that size. I mean, we've got three and three eighths inch of a blade. It's eight and, what do we say this was? Eight and a quarter inches long. An eight and a quarter inch long knife, only weighing a little over three ounces. I mean, that is, that's pretty, pretty ingenuitive, if you ask me. I mean, from the no metal liners to no blade plate to one of the strongest locks in the industry, great edge, great grind. I mean, we look at this, the grind is just phenomenal on each side of the blade. I mean, the lighting is just, I fight the lighting so much. But I mean, it's just a all-around very good blade. And I've used this today and had no problems with it. Um, as far as, like, hand placement, has a little choil right here. You know, it's got the little guard. But, I mean, you could always, if you needed to, I wouldn't recommend it that much if you keep them as sharp as I do, but you could even go up to here and, you know, we're doing some slicing like this if you needed to. Or if you're in a defensive style situation, you, know, you could even do the old reverse and you still have some sticking out the end right there. It's just a, all in all, this, this knife fits my hand. If we look at all four of those fingers... They fit in there, in that groove, from there to there, perfectly. It's almost like this knife was made for a guy, gal, guy, whatever, with my hand structure. And if we look, I did slice myself last night because I wasn't really used to opening and closing this. And I was walking through the house, and I, was, I did have my finger up here to begin with, but I was talking to my wife, and I was walking through the house, and I just... Put my finger here and I yanked her clothes real quick and it just, it bit me, fellas. So I was texting Boston saying, oh man, I cut myself, there's blood all over the floor. <laughs> so yeah, guys, it's just, this is a good blade. He told me I was going to be impressed with it and I, I really am. I really like how it feels in my hand. I like the pocket clip. It goes in and out of my jeans very easily. I like how it closes very easily. You know, you just do that and it one-handed so if you're wearing gloves it really wouldn't be an issue I like the style I like the design of it I like the collar I like black a lot I like plain he said oh you may not like it because it has some billboarding on it but he knows I'm just not a fan of billboarding but to me that's really not that's not insane it's not like an animal or a tiger or 
you know, someone's name. And on the back, it's got this clean, clean uh, branding right there. Cold Steel, OS 10A, Taiwan, with the trademark. So guys, this is impressive. He told me I was going to be impressed. And, you know, every time we send something to one another, we kind of know what each other likes. And, you know, I sent him the Mohawk. He was highly impressed with that. And he went and bought one. And he sent me this. And I'm pretty highly impressed with it. So I might have to go uh, order me one of these. Yeah, guys. And look at that lock again. I mean, look at... Let's compare these. First of all, get them right, Jerry. But look at that. I mean, it's... And granted, this is a, a larger blade. But, I mean... Just the lock on that. I can The girth on that is just... It, I mean, it's pretty phenomenal. So, yeah, guys. Again, we'll have our... Uh, happy Hour Live chat every weekend. 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern. Be sure you tune in for that. Myself in Boston. Sometimes we have guests. Sometimes we don't. Depends on the week. So be sure you sign up for notifications on that. And over here on the right-hand side, you can see Thrifty. Mr. Kniffy sent me a decal. Actually, he sent me a couple decals, but I put one of them right there. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. I'll probably put it up on the back backboard of my toolbox here. But Guys, like subscribe leave me a comment i like reading them i like responding to them i like communicating with everyone in the knife community uh whether you're a knife lover or not maybe you just like how i sound hell i don't know I, i'll talk to you though i'll respond to your comment so yeah like subscribe leave a comment stay sharp stay strong out there everybody